moving animals, right? But this one, you, you did not capture the upside. You didn't capture the, the seasonality, right? Yeah, so they are pretty rough, okay? So, the best model we try to do, we learned today, called a RIMA. This one is called autoregression, linear regression. Yeah, autoregression. We integrate moving average. Yeah? So we, this model has been approved for best model to make a time series forecast. That's why we use Urima, which captured the trend, the seasonality, and the moving average. Okay, that's all we want to learn. Right? Okay? So let's go through that for today. Maybe you should, right? Let's give you an introduction. Wow. This can be one semester course. I try to summarize to you in a, in a 50 minutes. Nowadays, you have to grab this piece of noise. Otherwise, you cannot ask the chat GPT work for you. <laughs> you need a higher level stuff. You don't need to get too much detail. Yeah? You need to manage to do that. Yeah? So that beauty about chat GPT makes you think so simple. So this is uh, today, 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 yeah. That's quickly through, right? We then we talk about model evaluation, which we really know. We were summarizing that. We are in the country, yeah? Because you get in the metaverse, the rest of the so, this kind of summary, right? We wanted to do this analysis based on the data. We are not doing data scientists, right? Like my wife, you know, she wants to fire. <laughs> we do business, we do business. Then we make decisions based on data. We make decisions focus based on your data. Right? What do you have data? What do you need to do? Right? So we may focus on prediction. What's for next part of that? Yeah? And uh, more importantly, called decision automation is going on. Because the technology is really there. Yeah, I'll consider you use the chat GPT in the money. I change my to the voice, like uh, Alexa, Google Home, right? I give the buy, yeah? One hundred dollars. They're able to you know, understand every language, Chinese, Indian, French, right? They have a conversation with you, right? Yeah, it's automation. Search, they also provide answer for you, right? And for same driving car, right? For Tesla, right? There's a model driving the car, right? <laughs> yeah, that's also automation. This is a, that's a big impact. That's why I invest a lot of money in the Tesla, right? Tesla, yeah, good company. Even that, that's it, right? All the life will change. You don't need to drive your own car. You come to here, you take the wrong taxi. You go to honeymoon to Toronto, right? You can land a nice meeting map. Everything's set up for you. <laughs> but to, to, to there, right? You don't need any parking spot anymore, yeah? You don't need own any car anymore. You, do you agree? Yes. Some say that uh, like, people find it very loud. Yeah. Does it really work? Does it really work? Of course, it work. There's a lot of the soft prediction. I don't know whether you can do right? that. Every day, people put on the prediction. Yeah. The, the inside of the idea is a rima, a kind of a rima idea inside. Then they put a wall around, right? You know, this big shock, this is the bottom, give you a good. The stock up to this point, you are to work, right? They put more camera clarity there. But the idea is silly. Yeah? Okay? In your next 10 years, a lot of position augmentation going on by robot, by car, by chat GPT, a lot of going on. So that's why we learn this basic model. We learn seven of them. Yeah? We use K-mean, cross We use linear regression, 
which is in question, the leader of users is everywhere, right? Yeah. Which is in question, support the machine, yeah. Lots of people talk about any place, we talk about disability, today, time zero. Some people complain about it, that's only for so many algorithms, right? Yes, yeah. it's difficult for me. It's difficult for you, now so with chat GPT it's easy. It's easy. Because you want to solve the problem, right? The problem to solve a decision, right? Is a, if you're biased, you are always a loser. Yeah, <laughs> right? You buy stock, okay. that's right. You focus, it's done, right? So you, you have to try all this model, and uh, right now with ChatGPT able to try it, then you set the model for final deployment, right? Yes, yeah, you cannot just talk about one model, three models. No. You know the reason, right? Yes, I mean, yeah. concept wise, it's yes. good for us, but operation wise, it's difficult because I am not a technical. It's not difficult. ChatGPT can do everything work for you. You understand the high level things. But there are some syntax problems all the time. What's your problem? That's a new job. You will tell you solve the problem. The people pay you eight thousand dollars to start. It's your job. You charge the baby solve the problem. Yeah. You no problem. The high or high you, high high school student. Yeah. Education high high you. Yeah. The not high you. Yeah. So. Professor, I have a question. Like yeah. for all the models, will we get the same um, decision at the end, or it can be like no different? No, it's different. Because every problem is different, do you agree? Every data set is also different. Every model is different. That's why I want to try every model and get the best model. So that model for this data, then that will capture a lot of uh, curves about this data. For example, time series data, right? And this is four of them. Trend, revenues, right? And uh, uh, seasonality, syndicate, right? So that's why we need to try each of them. The linear regression is basic. Then logistic regression changes linear to logistic uh, regression. Support the machine is basically hyperspace divide space. Then naive based based on you know the you know condition probability, right? To focus with the polygonal model. This is a tree is basically straightforward a tree, right? Yes or no, yes or no, yes or no. Yeah? Today we talk about time series. This is basic for machine learning, business analysis, right? And uh, you just understand the key concept. Every job can be done by chat GPT Python right now. Yeah? You don't know this, right? You cannot ask a smart question to chat GPT. Yeah? Do you agree? Yeah? So you ask as much detail as possible, chat GPT will provide an answer. This is lazy, yeah? You ask general question, you have to give you a general answer. Okay? Uh, we're going to teach this one, new network, but I also teach this MPD 41, about the next term. And I also, I would strongly recommend you should take a BOSI 651 machine learning and a 652, right? Now they have chat GPT, they're going to learn, right? They're talking about more new network. Chat GPT is a new network, yeah? It's a, you know, give a lot of scenario, right? Then answer, yeah. And for safe driving car, then the new network, you need to process it, right? About million, million dimension. They say this is bear, this is human, this is dog, right? So that the make decision. So take that course. Again, okay, right? So we use the crisp process, six percent, right? What's the problem? We want to focus. Apple sells so that we can whether we want to buy stock or not to invest. You return the money. What's that available? Yeah, public data everywhere. You can collect it, right? Uh, what's pre processing? You can do in visualization, use Tableau. They can give you this graph as well, yeah? And uh, doing some, you know, fix some of the problems, some missing data, right? It's called pre processing. So after that, you use the modeling. You skip in the model, yeah? Modeling. You should explain now what the possible model, yeah? Which chat GPT is very easy, right? For example, you model, only two models, only two models. Then you say you select this model for your problem, right? She tried the sixth model, she selected the best model. Her model has better accuracy than you. 
you look very bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? Who are going to YouTube and you don't want to work? Right? That's why right now Google looks very bad, right? Google also does a uh, chat GPT compound. Yeah? What the CEO, right? GPM, I mean, he it, swore, right? Uh, we can do that, right? They ask the uh, answer the three questions. Uh, answer the three answers, right? The last answer is wrong. So that day, Google stock come to the ten billion dollars <laughs> because of one mistake. Yeah. So that's why you try all the model. Then you set the best model, model inflation. Then you put it that way. Yeah. On deployment, doing safe driving car or doing chat GPT. So this is Chris, right? So in general, it's two steps, right? Model training, yeah, then forecast. For chat GPT, the reason like, they did very well is because the last 10 years, right, they spent a lot of money in this uh, model. They trained it. Now you do testing, right? You answer the question, so good, yeah? Better than you. So that means they have a good performance for that better. It's, a, it's called prediction now. Because every question you answer, the, Every question you ask them, they answer them very good. Prediction. So let's talk about time series. Okay, we will talk about it. So three uh, characteristic about time series data. Time, right? Remember, only one numbers change over time. For example, your body weight, your age. My uh, professor in the water room. He's an expert in a time series focused on the flood. Yeah? Anybody come from uh, Bangladesh? Yes. You come there, right? Yes. Lot of flood, yeah? No. Yeah? No. Lot of flood. No, yes, Mumbai. Mumbai, Mumbai flood, yeah? So, how do you. I think my no. professor already is hired by your government to do some forecast of the no, river. No, no. Yeah? No flood. No. No water. No flood? There's a lot of flood there. Oh. So, right now, no, there's a lot of flood. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they know, they know. So she's had that focus, right? Say so next year, based on the one three years there, so that's big prediction for next year summer, that's big flood in this area. So the government should migrate to people in advance. Yeah, in order to save their life. So this is the same thing, right? The, the volume. The flood for this river, right? And always changing. That was seasonality, right? Yeah. yeah. That was some weather is too, right? That was have uh, this trend, the kind of trend, a little warming, right? But year after year, yeah. So this is the uh, catch all these things, yeah. So that that will forecast, right? Yeah? That's uh, so my professor work with uh, with the, uh, the country. Okay. So so this is the problem, right? So you want to buy stocks. The stock yesterday for Apple, 147, 148 dollars. So I do the buy, well, based on the sales. What's sales in that quarter, right? So yeah, what do you want to buy stocks? So we give you a plot the, the stock, the, the sales like that, up and down, up and down, right? Yeah, and in general, it's uptrend. So we, Learn business analysis, right? We want, want to make decision, focus, based on your data. Not like that, the jump there, easy to make mistake, yeah? And uh, so we rely on the historical data, we rely on the model. Which model are we doing forecast? And each model, see, this is key, right? Each model specifically designed to capture one or more the component. That's why you should try the each of the model, yeah? And because each data has different characteristics, each model has special capability, right? So that's why usually the different models have different, you know, performance, accuracy, simple accuracy, right? So let's uh, do this data. The simple one is called. Uh, Moving average. Well, the error, you know, right? Half <laughs> the quarter, the error. So you can use absolutely error. You know, he's upside, she's downside, right? Eventually, it's error. You put the absolute number together, that's the error. After four quarter, 
you put your error together, if you the least error, you are high reputation for forecast, right? Yeah? It will follow you. You will hide by you know big bank very soon. So the simple one, even the data, use moving average based on the last three quarter data, then F job, right? It's called moving average, MA. So this, for example, this is a, the call central, right? So this kind of data is a probably best model with MA. Because it's very resonant, right? For the call. For example, nowadays, uh, which is your bank? CIBC. Uh, CIBC. Most likely, the in the evening, right? They're outsourcing to India call center, right? You call the, the wrong to there, right? And uh, what you call is a very red. Yeah? So how India the outsourcing company arrange for tomorrow the the, the ship, right? How many lady answers the call, right? So this is the last uh, three weeks then, right? So I want to see how many call we should receive tomorrow. This is very relevant, yeah? And uh, no much trend there, right? For example, say, it should be stable, right? Yeah, so this is uh, data. So you can simply add this three data, divide by three. That is your tomorrow call number, right? 20, 27, 23. Then these three together, then you do it the day after tomorrow, right? So you're able to arrange who should, uh, you know, for 100 call, yeah? For the, how many, uh, the call lady or man uh, you work with. And basically, this is your real data, and the, the middle one is your forecast, yeah? Make sure you moderate, right, in a, in a general, yeah? So this way, rather than go to extreme, yeah, make a forecast, right? So this give you this is a moving average like that, okay? Okay, this is calculation. Very, very straightforward, right? So this is the error. You can use the what the error? By, by tomorrow they know your error. Yeah? And it's, you put your error together called MAD. Absolute number, right? MAD. So yesterday you make a one minus one billion. Today you make a up to one billion error, right? You put them together, right? They put a divide by together, which is making this this number, right? Total error, okay? And you could use the square square method, right? Whatever minus the error, up the error, there you can square it, okay? Then by total forecast, this is eleven point eight seven. Yeah, make sure divide by total how many times it makes forecast, right? Every day you make 3.9 billion error. <laughs> okay? So for this one, the square, it's okay. You can also compare. Uh, one of the concept, right? For this, for this letter, for this letter, right? Always the least data have more value. Do you agree? Yeah? The old data have less value. If you just, uh, you know, last uh, one month, two months, or 100 days there, right? So you put more weight on the latest data, less weight for old data, which is called Somosi, Somosi method. You put alpha, yeah? Alpha, the latest data, they're point eight. The least data is zero point two. Totally is equal to one, right? It's kind of a mathematical function. So this one makes you curve more smooth, exponential growth, yeah? You will try to you focus, try to avoid a good extreme, right? If you go extreme, you easily to make a big mistake, yeah? Which make your total mistake, right? MSD will be uh, very worse. So this is the idea. Okay, so if the data like the sales, most of the business data, right? It's kind of a trend, yeah. And upward, downward, yeah. So this kind of data, you plot the data, you able to fit by linear regression. This x is is your t by time, change by time. Y is your time series data, right? Yeah. So you can fit this line. 
okay? However, there is a seasonality issue, most of the prisoners, right? So you revise your formula till this formula, yeah? P1, P2, P3, P4. P4, you don't need that many because uh, uh, even those three quarters of code, you know, last quarter is your quarter, right? So this is, uh, you expand it from there, you have this uh, P1, P1, P2, T2, P3, T3, and uh, original formula. This way, you will fit this formula to the time set, right? You have to catch. If this is Q1, then start how much? If this is Q4, how much, right? Yeah? So this is the idea, right? You catch seasonal effect for this uh, uh, for this time set, right? So this give you ready result. If any E1, E1, rest is zero, right? It's in Q1, yeah? So this is particularly for this, this kind of data, right? Have very seasonality, yeah? Most of the sales, most of the production, like iPhone sales, right? Yeah? You could catch it up, right? But some people, uh, most of the time, say the best time to sell iPhone probably Q4. What's, what's the next step in the time? Okay, right? Yeah? Maybe summer. Could you? Yeah? Vacation? Yeah? So we don't know. You need this one catch up with that, 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 that one, yeah? So you know, uh, use the, uh, you know, tableau to see what's this kind of behavior for this data. Then you use this uh, formula to capture. Okay? So this is all this idea. The, whatever, right? So this is Arima has to be approved the best model to make forecast, yeah? So Orima, again, right? Uh, AR, it's called auto regression. There are three variables for this formula. Y is P, it's auto regression term. Y is D, it's a non seasonality, right? What? So then yes or no, yeah? Some of not called, there's no seasonality. They're relatively called, right? And uh, then D, Q is moving average. Moving average you always have a very powerful term, right? So this is a three term, PDQ, okay? In terms of the formula, it's looking like a linear regression formula, yeah? Y equals this, AI term, or call leg, then your moving average term, I don't think you should remember this formula, <laughs> angry formula, right? However, you should remember PDQ. Yeah, and uh, PDQ, now they can use the uh, uh, machine learning, they type in your data, the training data, they always give you optimized, you know, what's your, uh, what's your, this is three variables, there, there are one, there are two, two, right, they always give you uh, this, this optimized variable, the beauty about machine learning. So eventually, this is your historical data. Eventually, you can make forecast, right? This is the normal. This is the upside. This is downside. Yeah. This is with 95% of the competent level. So make your final forecast. So in terms of the, so you can use the Excel. Use this package. Anybody uses Excel statistics package? And nobody. Try it, free for you, right? Try it, yeah? It's a two weeks for free trial. So it's a good package used before. Nowadays, you have, uh, you know, the Python, you can use Python. So I'll give you a demo for this one. Uh, uh, for example, right? If you open a restaurant, you have a restaurant in uh, Vancouver Airport, yeah? So how much curry chicken you need to prepare for tomorrow? Yeah? If you prepare too much, waste. If you're not enough, you lose money. So you need to forecast what traffic for tomorrow, Vancouver, airport. Then 10% of have my food, right? Okay, 10%, right? So this is a, a forecast for earlier data for San Francisco airport. Yeah? And uh, how many years? 10 years? Is 10 years later? No, it's a three years later, yeah? 
from 41, 50, 90, right? All these, you know, very small, very little uh, traffic, right? So, you can plot this better, look like this, yeah? This plot, use the uh, Excel or use the uh, Tableau, yeah? Up and down, up and down. Uh, but in general, it's upside, yeah? Right? And have a strong seasonality there too, right? For airport. Who love to travel every year for Canada? Q4, right? December. A family. Or, you know, the next month, March break, vacation, yeah? Yeah, this, this kind of pattern. So there's another trick for statistics, right? You know, avoid suddenly change of the data, right? You put a low, low pattern. Yeah? Make your data more smooth. However, it's fine. You can use raw data to make forecast. That's great. That's good. So you started this Excel statistics. You select a called Orima. Right? You say Orima. So you have to tell your Orima, right? Make sure you reserve some of the data for test. But because it's small data, you just reserve all of them for 10 of them. Yeah? Then that's the data for training. Okay? So you have to tell you time series, what is time series? Yeah? What's the range of your time series? Okay? Then uh, because the months, right? You use 12 months period. Then Arima give you output, you say output like that, right? Then it also give you a curve prediction. Okay? Three prediction. So this is a, a log data passenger, or remote log passenger. Look at that, that's, this is residual error, right? Very close. Or remote a little more conservative, a little bit more conservative, right? In general, perfect. Yeah, can make forecast. So if you plot the data, look like that, right? The red is a remark. The, the, the blue, which is the, the actual data, right? Then this is the forecast for tomorrow, the airport traffic, so that, so that you can prepare your restaurant, right? Beautiful, right? Well, well fit. Okay? I will give you there some demo, it's Python demo, okay? Same that's it. Now, so we learned this one, right? Yeah, you guys got it, right? This is a, you know, very useful data set. You can give some of the data, time service data, you can do forecast, right? You'd be very good at doing, you know, a stop for prediction. Yeah, a lot of people tell you, yeah? It's hard, very hard. And uh, so this is a summary, and I will repeat it, right? And use this uh, technique to capture it. Okay, so we learned this seven algorithm. Which model is better? Which model is better, right? So the best idea you try every model as possible. Then you select the best model for final deployment, right? For example, for you, you wanted the breast cancer detection, right? You should try all the models. Then see which model is better. Then you put in your mobile phone. Yeah, it's going to yes. You save people life. You will be very rich. Everyone wants to use your, you know, your, your application. $10. Yeah, you have to pay. Yeah. In your monitor, everything you can pay monthly. You have to save your life. $5 per month. So, which one is better? So, we learned seven algorithm. Yeah? Okay? Any challenge for this, this algorithm you have learned so far? Linear regression is very easy, right? 